The area around the free fall ride on I Drive is surrounded by signs, candles, and stuffed animals, all to pay tribute to Tyree Sampson. That's the 14 year old who died while on the ride. You know, little by little, we are learning more about what happened in March when Tyree fell and died from that ride. As West 2's Michelle Meredith tells us, the newest report gives witnesses perspective of that tragedy. The investigation into the death of Tyree Sampson continues. The Orange County Sheriff's Office just released parts of their incident report. It was a scene too horrific to imagine. The 14 year old fell to his death on the now controversial free fall right at Icon Park. A field investigation report that the operator made manual adjustments to the ride's harness that resulted in it being unsafe. When Orange County Sheriff's deputies got to the scene, witnesses said at first they thought they could see Tyree still breathing, but he was unresponsive. Witnesses also told deputies that nobody touched him until deputies arrived. The report says Tyree's friend, who was sitting next to him, did not see what happened because he became nervous and closed his eyes until the ride came down and stopped. Other friends who were watching but not on the ride told deputies they thought Tyree started to fall at the halfway point. The free fall is advertised to be over 400 feet tall, dropping riders to the ground at 75 miles per hour. Now, Tyree's family just recently filed a lawsuit against Icon Park, the operators of the ride, and the company that manufactured it. In Orange County, Michelle Meredith, West 2 News.